Hello, my amazing Algebra Half students. This is Mrs. A, and I love math. Here, we're talking about Lesson 60. So we're a multiple of 10 here. Um, we, we celebrated 50. Maybe we should celebrate 60, too. But we made it to Lesson 60, and we're talking about mixed number problems. And I want to celebrate because Lesson 60 and 61 both have some word problems, and I love word problems. So I hope you will learn how to love word problems as much as I do. So here we go. We have some mixed number problems, and anytime we have mixed number problems, we're going to start by turning the mixed number into an improper fraction. So remember to turn two and a half into an improper fraction. We multiply two times the two that is in the denominator. We get four plus one is five halves. So we have five halves. I'm gonna write it down a little bit further. Five halves of always means times. What number we can usually use just an n for that. That's a good little variable to use for what number is is an equal sign and seven and one third is another mixed number so we will turn it into an improper fraction seven times three is 21 plus one is 22 thirds okay so now it doesn't look nearly as complicated as it did before now remember we want to get rid of the five halves in, because we want to get the n by itself so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of five halves, which is two fifths. But if we multiply the left hand side of the equation by two fifths, shouldn't we multiply the right hand side of the equation by two fifths also? Okay, so now this left hand side is going to cancel and we have n all by itself, which is our goal. And then we look over here, we have 22 over three and two over five. Nothing is going to cancel. So we're going to get n is 44 over 15, 44 over 15, and we are done. And your book leaves the answer as 44 over 15. They could turn it back into a mixed number, but they chose not to because it's extra work. So if you don't need it to be a mixed number, I would leave it in improper form because every time you go to do anything with it, we turn it back into an improper form anyway. So usually in algebra, we just leave it in its improper form and that's just dandy. Okay, so here is example number two. We have two and one fifth of eight and one eighth is what number? So we're going to start by turning each one of our mixed numbers into an improper fraction. Two times five is 10 plus one is 11 fifths. Let's get another marker. There, that's better. So 11 fifths of is times eight and one eighth will be eight times eight is 64 plus one is 65 eighths. Is is equal what number is n? So now we don't have to do anything except simplify this and multiply it together. So I don't know about that 11. I don't see anything that goes well between 8 and 11 and 8 and 65. But what about the 65 and the 5? 65 will go, I mean 65 will divide by 5 evenly 13 times. Okay, so 5 divided by 5 is 1. So I'm going to cancel those. So now there's nothing else we can do. We've got rid of the 5, and we have a 13 there now. So we're just going to have to multiply across. There's nothing else that will cancel. So we have 11 times 13 is 13, 13, or 143. So we have 143 in the numerator. We have nothing but 8 left in the denominator, and 143 divided by 8 is the final answer. And that is the end of your example. So now we're going to come back with some practice problems. Okay, so here we have 3 and a half of 6 and 1 quarter is what number? This is your first practice problem, so I want you to copy it down 
and then pause your video. So now, hopefully you did that, and we have three and a half, which is going to be three times two is six plus one is seven. So seven halves of means times six and one quarter is going to be six times four is 24 plus one is 25 fourths is is equal n is what number? That was easy. So now we're looking and saying, okay, 7 does not cancel with either one of those, and 25 does not cancel. Nothing cancels. So 7 times 25 is going to be 175. So 175, because 425 is 100. So we get 175, and then on the bottom we get an 8, and 175 over 8. I hope you got that answer. Okay, let's do another practice. Okay, so 3 and 1 fourth of what number is 6 and 1 eighth? So we have to turn this into an improper fraction. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13 fourths of means times. What number we can write as an n is is equal. 6 and 1 eighth is going to be 6 times 8 is 48, plus 1 is 49 over 8. So now we need to get the n by itself, which we will do by multiplying by the reciprocal. 4 over 13 and 4 over 13 on the other side. This cancels, and now we have n all by itself on the left. Now, 49 has a 7 in it, but 7 is not in either one of those. And 4 has a 2, so we can cancel the 4 and the 8 here. So let's cancel by 4s. And 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 divided by 4 is 2. But that's all we can cancel, isn't it? So now we're going to end up with 49 on the top. And 2 times 13 is 26 on the bottom. And there is nothing else we can do with that. We're done. Now we have one more practice. So here we are with our last practice. What fraction of 3 and 2 fifths is 9 and 7 eighths? Pause your video. So 3 and 2 fifths is 15 plus 2 is 17 fifths. Is is equal. Oops, I forgot the beginning of the problem. Let's start over. What fraction? So instead of n, we're going to write f for what fraction? Of means times. 3 and 2 fifths is 15 plus 2 is 17 fifths. Is is equal. 9 and 7 eighths is. 9 times 8 is 72 plus 7 is 79 eighths. So now we know that n is a fraction, or at least that's what they ask us. So we put f instead of n, and then we're going to multiply by the reciprocal to get f by itself. So 5 over 17, and 5 over 17. And then the 5 and the 5 and the 17 and the 17 cancel, and we get F equals. Now, 79 divided by 8 times 5 over 17. I'm not seeing anything cancel, but let's just try just to check. 79 divided by... 17, just to make sure it doesn't go in. So that's going to be maybe five times. Five times seven is 35. No, that's too big. Four times. And that's not going to work either. So we know it doesn't go in. Just wanted to check. So now that's not going to go into that. That's not going to go into anything. So we just have to multiply big numbers. Okay, so the bottom is going to be 8 times 7 is 56, carry the 5, so 136 on the bottom. And then on the top, we're going to have 9 times 5 is 45, carry the 4, 7 times 5 is 35, 39, 395 over 136. And that should be the answer to your last one. So... Let's look. Hopefully you got that answer.
And this is Mrs. A, and we are done with Lesson 60. And may God bless your day.